have arrived at Wrexham General Station on Platform 1. There is a door access button by the side of the door as you can see in the video. This button will open the door for you. There is a 24 hour taxi service to the left of the building if you require one. To leave the train station, turn right and head up towards the main road. There is a slight incline to the road here and there is a bus stop to your right. The pavement here is wide for wheelchair access. Once at the top of that path, you are now at the main road. You need to turn right to head towards the university. Continue down the main road. There is a slight incline over the, as you come over the bridge and the main road here is busy. The pavement here is narrow, so please take care. As you come over the bridge, there is a slight decline on the path. Please take care. If you're travelling from the Liverpool to Wrexham line via Bidston, you will leave the train station at this point. Continue down the main road to head towards the university. You need to cross the road here at the junction. There is drop curbs on both sides. Still continue down the main road. You will notice and walk past Wrexham football ground, which is also called the race course. The pavement here is flat and wide. Once past the football ground, you will see a bus stop to your left. This is the closest bus stop to the university. And if you were traveling by bus, you would get off here and continue the walk demonstrated in our video. The bus stop here is called Mold Road Football Ground. Buses that come here are the 13, 13A, 21, 23 and 40. To see the full timetable, please check the Arriva Buses website. Continue the walk down the main road towards the university entrance. You have now arrived at the main Glyndore University entrance. You also enter through this way if you are travelling in by car. Now in front of you is the main university entrance. There is ramp access or steps. If you are travelling in by car or via taxi, this shows where you could be dropped off. There is a public use car park which is free of charge. There is five disabled allocated parking spaces at the front of the car park and there is also four electric charging stations. The car park here has plenty of parking but if there is no spaces, there is an overflow car park at the back of the university. Hello and welcome to Glyndore University. This will be a familiarisation video about the lobby area and the cafe of the university. The first area to look at will be the front entrance stairs. These stairs are not steep and have handrails that will lead you to the front door. There is also the ramp which is how those who cannot use the stairs will access the front door. There are handrails all along the ramp up until the touch pads for the doors. The door is opened via the touch pads on the doors themselves. There are manual doors in the middle and button operated as well on the right for leaving. As you pass through the first door, the floor surface will transition to textured carpets and then to tiles as you enter the main lobby area. As you enter through the doors, there is a collection of sofas and chairs without handles are available. Any extra seating accommodation needed can be organised at reception. Next to the seating areas are the fire extinguishers and the hand sanitizer station. All the areas within the lobby have excellent lighting. This is the reception area and this will be where you check in if you are visiting. The staff are welcoming and helpful 
the staff can also speak Welsh. Free to use maps are also available here. The next area is the wider lobby area. In this area, you can find the entrance to A and B corridors and the lift and stairs that allow access to the first floor and William Aston Hall on the right. There are many seating areas available for groups and plug sockets in place for those who may need chargers. The fire alarm is placed at the entrance to corridor A. The lobby is a high traffic area and can typically be loud. For example, the fire alarm can also be another loud noise. The final stop is the cafe. The entrance to the cafe is in the main lobby area where you can smell the pleasant aroma of coffee. There are workspaces that line the left side of the area. There are two fridges at the end of the cafe. Individuals with allergy should speak to the staff as signposted. There is also a sign next to the tills with information about first aiders and where to find them. In this video, we will be showing you the lift located in the main lobby of the university, which gives accessible access to William Aston Hall, Nick Whitehead Theatre, the Oriel Gallery and the upper floor. The, this lift is rounded and is an adequate size for a generous wheelchair. If you press button 1, this takes you to William Aston Hall. You exit through the door on the left as you go into the lift. William Aston Hall can be accessed through a power-assisted door. If you press button 2, this takes you to the Nick Whitehead Theatre, which you will exit the door on the right of the lift. Here you will have, again, power-assisted doors to access the theatre. If you press button 3, this will take you to the upper floor of the university. You exit the door you went through from the ground floor. This floor includes the B Corridor and the Oriel Gallery. The gallery is an open, spacious communal area for all, with bright artwork on the walls. This area provides the university with a well-lit zone, which is equipped for group work and individual studying. Benefits include plug and USB sockets and Wi-Fi. The seating in this area is varied with comfortable seats in the booth setting, armchairs and bar stools. This familiarisation video will help you to navigate Corridor A in Glyndur University. You enter Corridor A from the main entrance foyer. There are clear signs above the doors on each side showing Corridor A. You can see the sign on the ladies' toilets door showing there is wheelchair access and other toilets inside. When you enter the toilets, there is lots of space. The men's toilets have a sign telling you there is wheelchair access toilet and other toilets inside too. Corridor A is a very long and spacious corridor. There are lots of doors. The most important doors are the fire exits. The study area has seating which faces into the corridor and has places to charge phones and laptops. The study area is an informal space to catch up with some studying. The tables are suited to position a wheelchair underneath.
About halfway down the corridor, there are more toilets. The sign shows these toilets are available for all. There is a state-of-the-art changing places bathroom, including a changing bed, a hoist which moves with a remote control and enables access to the toilet and changing bed. The wash hand basin is height adjustable and the toilet uses a remote control to operate its various functions. There are rooms which are used for various conferences and meetings within the university. At the lower end of the corridor, there are toilets. These are gents, wheelchair access and ladies. At the end of corridor A is the canteen. The canteen serves hot and cold food, drinks and snacks. There is lots of space inside the canteen. There is a fire exit in the canteen too, with wheelchair access and steps when you go outside. The exit door can be opened with the green button on the right hand side. Outside there is a wheelchair access ramp taking you to the car park and there are stairs also. This is B Corridor which is situated on a ground level and second floor. The ground floor corridor contains rooms B01 to B55. There are fire alarms situated periodically down the B Corridor with instructions. Upon entering B Corridor, there are ladies' toilets situated to the right. There is a disabled access classroom located to the left of B Corridor. There is push button access to this room located on the wall next to the door. Within this classroom, there are speakers placed at the front of the room along with a large projector screen. Facilities are available including USB ports and electrical plug sockets. Further, there are two large height adjustable tables which are operated with a lever as demonstrated in the video. The push button access is available to exit the classroom. Further along B corridor, there is a fire extinguisher point, recycling amenities and also a workbench with electrical sockets. To book a room along the B corridor, signs advise you to contact timetables at glindur.ac.uk. On the left, there is a study area called the Beehive, which encompasses a communal seating area and small quiet meeting rooms. There are also fire doors along B corridor, which are left open and will only close in the event of a fire drill. A practice fire drill takes place every Wednesday between 8.30 and 9am. Through the fire doors there is an exit located on the right hand side. This area contains printing facilities and a seating area. There is also a hand sanitising station available if you wish to use this, located close to the push button fire exit. Further along B corridor, storage lockers are located on the wall. If you require a storage locker, individuals are asked to provide their own padlock. Opposite the storage lockers, there are toilet facilities for ladies and also a unisex disabled toilet. 
The ladies' amenities are a large room with many cubicles. Within the disabled toilet, there is a disability hoist and a pull alarm with grab rails and a hand wash basin. We have now reached the end of ground floor B corridor. Access to the first floor B corridor is available via stairs or lift. The lift and stairs lead directly to the first floor B corridor, which contain rooms B101 to B128. This corridor is lit by skylights and small spotlights. On a dull day, this corridor could appear quite dark. You may see a wet floor sign in the corridor as seen outside the toilet. This could indicate that there has been a spillage and the floor may be slippery. Unisex disabled toilets also contain grab rails and a hoist. The adjacent female toilets are large in size, allowing plenty of room. This is the level of noise you can expect to hear in any of the B corridors. The first floor B corridor contains fire extinguishers and a fire alarm, as well as a first aid point. There are display information boards and objects relating to the degrees available to study at Glyndwood University. There are male and female toilets located towards the end of the corridor. This is the end of B corridor. This is Corridor C. There is a lift on the left hand side of Corridor C which is accessible for wheelchair users. The men's toilets are on the right. Next to the toilet, there is available seating, a notice board for events, coffee machine, a vendor machine and a refillable water bottle station. A fire exit and fire extinguishers can be found next to the lift. If we continue on to corridor C, you'll be able to find lockers that can store personal belongings. Along the corridor on the left, there is a stair lift access to the rear car park where there are disabled car parking spaces available. There are a few seats available where there are stairs with grip edges leading up to the first floor. On the left, there is an exit where you can find the research laboratories. There are many fire extinguishers throughout corridor C. Further along the corridor on the left, there is an accessible ramp exit leading to the library. Next to the exit, there is another set of stairs with grip and edges leading to the first floor. At the end of the ground floor corridor C, there is a stair exit leading to the Edward Cleward Centre and the library. To the right of the exit will take you to the Scholars Rest and E Block. Beyond that is the Sports Centre. The lift on C block opens into the first floor landing. There are recycling bins and fire extinguishers available. Opposite the lift, there is another men's toilets and an evac chair. Upstairs on corridor C, there are further classrooms, laboratories and lockers. Here is an example of a classroom that can be found on the first floor of Corridor C. On the left, there are stairs with gripped edges leading to the ground floor. Continuing along the first floor of Corridor C, where there are more fire extinguishers. At the end of Corridor C on the first floor, you can find another set of stairs leading to the ground floor, where you can find another evac.